Right, what's up guys, Sherry here, and today I have my little baby doggy Ruby, and she is going to be helping me today go over some of the most amazing content I have seen T3 put out to date, and some of the best changes that we should be looking over. I'm going to explain all the little different nuances, and I even have a one mega box code for you guys to have at the end of the video not just that i'm also going to be putting out another video that's more edited and high effort uh that's going to go over all the different things like the battle pass and then what you can get from the hall of fame and why this is such a good thing and good change for the game but don't worry at the end of this video i will show you a little sneak peek of that so you can see exactly how free to play this game is and it really is going to become free to play you can literally get most of the heroes without even having the free battle pass i'll show you how to do that it's super easy and if you already have a bunch of trophies you basically have already done it so it's going to be great all right so let's see what t3 has to say i have seen this already and oh my god do i love what they guys say all right here we go mighty heroes unified to defend the world against evil but an ancient god unleashes a dark tea crystal, seizing control of our heroes. Board corrupted and radiated unprecedented power forces unite, but he proves unstoppable. This is when Ono takes the stage. Take the edge of my blade! Ono launches at his corrupted ally. Will Ono put an end to the ancient evil scheme? New season, Life Guardians. In light, we believe. So, you guys now have met my little baby Ruby. She's the sweetest dog ever. And she is the reason why I have uh, not been streaming the last couple weeks. Don't worry, we are actually going to start live stream again pretty soon. We're going to do live stream scrims, a whole bunch of new content coming your guys' way. And it all starts with this video and then the one after it, which I'm going to show you guys a ton of cool sneak peeks, uh, new characters, uh, show you the new battle pass, exactly how this game's free to play. There is so much amazing stuff going on here, and I can't wait to show you all of it. And at the very end of this video, you will get a free Mega Rumble box using my code, but you got to do it quick. It will not be there for long. I think it's like 12 hours, so make sure you tell all your friends about it. Hello T3 Arena, this is Gordo here. Before we dive into this season's arena news, we want to thank you, our loyal players, for all your support. You are the reason we constantly experiment and try to make T3 Arena the best game we can. Today, we are ready to unveil some major changes. This season, we have decided to remove boxes and lucky draw from the game. We're waving goodbye to the probabilities random rewards and the element of luck that comes with unlocking your favorite heroes, skins and abilities. We're also introducing a new hero, a new map and tons of other contents and improvements. Super Season 2 Light Guardian is launching August 17th. Let's jump right into it. Bye bye boxes! But why you might ask? Our goal is to make your experience fair, more predictable and more empowering. We believe that in a game where strategy and skill are key, the power of choice should rest in the player's hands. And that's exactly what we're giving you now. Instead of focusing on chances and probabilities, we want you to enjoy clear, exciting goals each time you play T3 Arena. With the removal of boxes, you can now focus on obtaining and mastering your favorite hero, making the game experience clearer and more enjoyable. In the new update, all in-game box rewards will be replaced with a theoretical maximum amount of T-Coins and Power Cores, as well as a new item called the Hero Vouchers, which you can use to straight up buy heroes with. Moving forward, most heroes in the game, except for new Battle Pass heroes or those from the arcade, will be available for direct purchase in store using the new Hero Vouchers or t -Jacks. If you guys don't know, 95% of players who play on mobile actually never spend a cent on any game, which is 
absolutely insane, and I know it doesn't make that much sense, uh, especially if you're in the West. It just feels like it would be higher, but that is what it is. And so in competitive shooters, you have to be able to like, hit that free-to-play market just to get the player base up, and they're finally doing that. This game was a nightmare before to be able to actually get in and get what you needed to as a free-to-play player, but now you don't even need the battle pass, and... Uh, again, my video tomorrow will be going over this, but I did go through with the help of Myron and looked at all the Hall of Fame, and you get like 600-something of these tickets just from getting the 20,000 trophies, and then you get so many coins and other things, and I also went through and I did this thing, it's uh, using a tier list maker, and as you can see, all the heroes at the top cost 120 of these tickets each or 350 gems all the ones on that orange middle tier are going to be 60 of the tickets or 175 gems and then at the very bottom you do have uh 90 t gems or 30 of these tickets and that is the majority of these heroes so like you can pretty much get every hero in the game for free now so even if you do not spend a single cent you can get heroes and you can do so much and like i said i'm gonna make it a full video going over all these things i made a bunch of graphs like this one and i'm gonna go over all the data and i'm gonna tell you how much it costs in united states dollars to buy every character i'm gonna tell you how much you need in gems how much you would need to do a free battle pass or hey do you even need to do the battle pass at all? And most importantly, and people please keep this in mind, if you have all the heroes and you paid money for them and you're kind of disappointed that other people aren't going to have to pay money, don't be. Remember, you're benefiting through this by having lower queue times, having more players, which can also get better prizing, have better design artists, make your skins in the future, like just make the game better like events all these things that come with a bigger player base even though they're free to play you guys who have paid already will benefit from this more than anyone because you're already better than those people you already have everything upgraded so don't think that you're getting cheated if you've already bought things because i mean it's just not how it is but the direction they're going i love it and guys i think the game's gonna blow up because we're going to be able to get free-to-play players. They're making advertisements, doing a ton of stuff behind the scenes. Everything is set for this game to just do so well that all of those things were going against it in the past. The only thing there was was the game was good. And now that they're getting rid of the spectators and pro matches, competitive integrity's back. I mean, what is there not to love about what's going on in the game right now? And uh, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty excited about it. Moving forward. Most heroes in the game, except for new Battle Pass heroes or those from the arcade, will be available for direct purchase in store using the new hero vouchers or T-Gems. Now, you may be wondering, what will happen to Battle Pass rewards, store content and so on? These will be replaced with new direct rewards, some of which will be completely new to the game. You will always know exactly what you're going to receive, taking out the guesswork and making the game more transparent and satisfying. Upgrading heroes will also be a lot more straightforward. All power cores will be combined, allowing players to upgrade any hero of their choice. The acquisition of passes will also no longer be random. Once a hero has reached level 9, players can use T-Coins to purchase their passive directly. The only exception will be arcade heroes. Um, and if anyone's wondering like, oh, but what about Vincent? Um, well, guess what? Vincent's end up being on my team a lot and all Vincent's on my team are terrible people who never switch off Vincent. Oh, by the way, if you thought you were getting through a Vincent or a video without me giving some Vincent shade, uh, you're wrong because uh, guys, if it's not working, switch off the Vincent. Apparently a lot more of you need to hear that. And as many of you might have unclaimed rewards in your boxes. Rest assured, we've got you covered. Boxes in your mail will not be affected. Boxes unlocked but not yet open from fast battle passes will also remain available. Okay. You can manually open them and their rewards will be displayed before they update. This might be your last chance to open boxes. If you're the type... Alright, so, like, basically if you have things in your mail, they're good and then if it's in like the previous battle pass and you haven't opened it then it's good 
Um, but then it said it's like your last chance to open it. Like, uh, and then it also said there was going to be some kind of coin cap. Hopefully they give us something we can do with those coins. That'd be fun. You enjoy the suspense of opening boxes. You might want to enjoy a while it's still cap. Because after the update, things are about to get a lot more transparent. Thank God. Maybe Super Season 2 welcomes Oh No. Oh No is a Vanguard hero with unique single target shielding abilities. A martial artist with a passion for philosophy, Ono spent years in isolation perfecting his skills. His first active ability, Portable Barrier, allows Ono to bestow a shield on himself or any team member. Interestingly, Portable Barrier can be deployed even through walls. This allows for much more mobile team comps, and Ono can almost act as a hybrid between a tank and a flanker. His second ability, Furious Slash, enables Ono to cut down enemies in front of him. Each successful hit not only pushes back opponents, but also reduces the cooldown time of Furious Slash. With his ultimate Shock Beam, Ono focuses all his energy into a flurry of Shock Beams, which will devastate and knock back enemies. However, while charging this energy, Ono's movement speed greatly diminishes. His Shock Beams can penetrate enemies. So if you line up targets correctly, you can hit multiple enemies with each shock beam. You can unlock Ono by reaching level 30 of the premium battle pass. Ono also comes with his own set of hero tasks. Complete them to receive an extra 1000 glory points. With the light guardian battle pass, not only will you unlock Ono, but also the stealth avatar skin for Victor. The initiate the system banner. Those the Transform Holo Poster, the Lycarian Banner, the Righteous Punch Knockout Fix, the Fairy's Wand Holo Poster, and the Mask Boxer Skin for Ono, and introducing the brand new Grand Skin Bundle. By maxing out the free Battle Pass, you can choose from a series of Grand Skins or Skin Shards. You can also receive precious resources like T-Gems, Hero Vouchers, Power Cores, and more. While Lucky Draws have been a great way to get unique skins in a full set, it's become a bit stale, as we keep releasing skins, many of you have shared that you'd prefer to just purchase a skin. That Zero Kelvin's uh, ball thing looks like cheese and I want it. Just, just putting that out there. ...without spinning around. This season, we'll be fading out the Lucky Draw feature. Lucky Draws will be put down on a countdown timer, and will gradually go offline. Instead, new legendary skins will be made available for direct purchase through the skin store as they arrive. Let's now, let's take a look at some of the new skins coming this season. I'll go over this in my other video, but also look at Myron's amazing video on this map and the new character. I will have it linked in the description. For a more in-depth video guide. This season, a series of challenges, minigames and more will be unlocked each day. By playing daily, you get tons of extra rewards, including Kazama's Round Iron Man skin. The Journey of Dreams. Hold on, I just want to say something. Let's rewind that just a bit. So, how do you not get sued by Disney? I mean, like he's already basically just fat Iron Man, but like y you literally called him Iron Man, gave him the same color scheme, and he already uses Iron Man suit. So, like, man, you. Are you just asking to get sued by Disney? Like, and wait, I guess just, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, whatever. Drown Iron Man skin. The Journey of Dreams banner. No one tells Into me. the Dreams frame. The Mr. Rabbit portrait. As well as star coins, the all new hero vouchers, and many more other resources. So if you can do that through the event and get more of the, if you go through, the entirety of the uh, Hall of Fame, you will be able to get 660 uh, like character tickets to be able to get new heroes. So like, if these events will also let you buy them, you you could literally theoretically play T3 Arena free to play for real. Like, that's insane. Man, these changes are so good, especially for like building the community back up. But this is gonna be so huge for a game. The player development program. Consider it your personal training class, designed to help you master and explore a 
diverse array of heroes. By participating in this event daily, you will accumulate rewards that allow you to unlock and fully upgrade more heroes. Now, let's talk ranked mode. Fairness and integrity are core to any competitive gaming experience. We by the way, so have you done anything about that whole like change your FPS to 120 thing? Uh, if you need a list of the players that are doing it so you can check and go ahead and just like nip that in the bud right now, don't worry, I got you. Just let me know uh, if you want to do anything about that. Competitive integrity, I agree. Pretty important. We want to ensure that ranked matches in T3 Arena are fair and competitive for all players. That's why we're super excited to launch a new season of Rank alongside with Super Season 2. Our goal with these changes is to make Rank as fun and fair as possible. But first, we squash some bugs that allow players to cheat and win trade. Exploiting the system goes against the rules of fair play. So, I just want to point out something that's really neat about the way that T3's actually like changed how they're doing things. Like, they're actually just flat out saying, yeah, those players were cheating. Like, they're not couching it in language, not trying to, like, downplay the bad thing that happened. They're literally saying, bad thing happened, but you know what? We think it's a bad thing, and we're going to fix it. Here's our solution to fix it. And that's exactly what you want, because that is exactly how we get a game that we deserve. Because they are literally fixing the things that are broken. They are making it to where there's competitive integrity. And you'll see there's even more changes that are just as good. And like, so I love the direction that things are headed in. Uh, China did a very, very good first month. So there's more money coming in. Like, literally everything that you could possibly want as someone who loves T3 is all coming together so perfectly. And now that they're making it free to play friendly and they're making uh, like advertisements and they have some money so they can actually send those advertisements out to people. And the game's actually worth playing like as free to play long enough for you to want to get the battle packs. Guys, we are actually at the point that we always hope we would eventually be able to get to. I, I honestly can't believe that we got here this fast. So consider that loophole to close. Secondly, in order to prevent sniping and other forms of cheating, we're also disabling spectating in professional rank matches. Long term, we hope you can bring back spectating with a time delay. For now, we have found this to be the best solution for preventing cheating in professional rank matches. Super Season 2 will launch with brand new rank rewards and a new stadium track. This season, you will unlock even more rewards for stadium track. You will get to choose between some amazing skins, like the pink healing skin for Iris, the Jablay skin for Jabali, the Ghost Array skin for Shell, and other season exclusive rewards. Most importantly, you can also receive the legendary Hero Vision skin for Camus, just by playing the game and progressing through stadium track, whether you win or lose. The rank store will also be stocked with a ton of new skins, knockout fizzes, and hope. This season we're also introducing a memory album to rank mode, so that you can keep track of your best moments and performances. Balance changes. After reviewing competitive metrics and community feedback, we have decided to buff two heroes this season. First up, Yah. Yah's Gale Pistol ammo capacity is set to receive a significant upgrade of over 40%, increasing from 9 to 13 shots per charge. This should not only drastically reduce her combat downtime, but also empower Yacht to adopt a more aggressive playstyle. Will enable players to stack more combos before needing to retreat. Next up, Diggy. I, well, hold on. I, first, I, I want to talk about this Yacht thing. You have T3 God, who has been on like a campaign and crusade to get every single person in the game to sign a petition to make Yacht be buffed, even though like. Yeah, like, it's fine. I actually don't mind having the extra bullets, but, like, there were other things that needed a buff. I don't know that Yaw needed a buff. I think T3 God wanted it, and literally, like, everyone loves T3 God, so, like, who's gonna say no to the gap? But, like, I'm just really surprised that Yaw got this, and I wonder if it's because T3 God got literally every person on the planet to sign this petition <laughs> to give Yaw a buff. <laughs> The cooldown period for Diggy's second active ability, Submarine, will be decreased 
in the upcoming update. This adjustment is expected to significantly boost Amy's mobility and offer her the freedom to excel as a true flanker. All of these balance changes are still in her testing and we'll be sharing the final stats on our patch notes on tap. Alright, so, um, pro tip for T3 Arena. Let me showcase what you're trying to do with heroes because I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what the person was trying to do there with those clips, but I don't think they did what they were trying to do. I can tell you that because, um, I don't know. But either way, uh, Diggy, I hope that it fails miserably and no one ever tries it because, um, Diggy and Vincent both make me just like very like, legitimately depressed inside whenever they're on my team, so let's just hope that both those characters go away. Time. <laughs> We're also excited to share a host of general improvements that we've made to T3 Arena. First, let's talk casual mode. To streamline the matchmaking process and reduce wait times, we've opted to merge casual 5 vs 5. This should lead to faster matchmaking time and a more fun, frantic, and casual experience. Next up, Attack Escort. Old Medina, with its unique gameplay, stands apart from other Payload Escort maps. Recognizing this, we have decided to separate Old Medina from other Escort maps into a brand new 5 vs 5 mode, Attack Escort. As we continue to develop and design new maps... I really hope to god that Attack Escort, like, what does that even mean? Like, one side attacks, one side defense, but I really hope that uh, Attack Escort it is always going to be both sides, so it's basically just like professional rank matches for that. Because Old Medina cannot be played one side, it's so terrible. Also, uh, thank you guys for being here for this long. I will have the code up at the top. Uh, hurry up and use it as quick as you can. Uh, give it to your friends. Uh, for the next, like, probably 18 hours or so, this will be good for one free Mega Rumble box. I know it's very strange they gave me a code for a Mega Rumble box, considering they're getting rid of all the boxes, but hey, I'm not arguing. I'm happy that they uh, are supporting me and our community, so uh, thank you very much, T3, uh, for doing that. And like I said, I'll just keep it up there at the top, so if you want to use that or tell people to use it, go ahead. Uh, well, be mindful of the distinct characteristics that differentiate Payload Escort and Attack Escort. We've also made a series of other quality of life improvements. First, we revamped the mid-match hero switching UI. Our aim is to make the process of switching heroes not only faster, but also more intuitive. Secondly, we have also added a lock function to the hero menu, so that you can always have your favorite hero in the main lobby. Super Season 2, like... So I have not gotten clarification on, does this mean like if I lock Osis that way, does that mean I automatically get Osis in the game, or, and does that like increase queue times, or does it just mean like you'll start out with Osis as your picture so you can hit enter really quick or something. Uh, I'd like some clarification on that and I haven't gotten anyone to give it to me, so... Let me know what you think in the comments. Guardian, new season, new battle pass, new hero, new map, tons of gameplay improvements, and some of the biggest changes that we've made to Keep Free Arena so far. This season, we are shifting away from a chance-based reward system to an empowering system that brings power and choice into the player's hands. We believe these changes will greatly improve your experience, and we can't wait for you to dive into this new phase of Team Arena. Subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any more news. That's it for today, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Bye. Uh, make sure that you go in the description, by the way, and go watch Myron's videos, uh, on the new heroes and the new map. I'm going to be having a fully in-depth one, and I'm going to go over a bunch of different things. This is exactly how much these things are going to cost, and I have gone over 
and I have all the figures of exactly what that is. So you can either buy it with gems or you can get it with these tickets. You can get 660 of the tickets from the um, Hall of Fame. And then you can get coins, cores. I'll go over all of that so you can know exactly how much you can level things up. How you're going to be able to get um, people's level 10 passives. Because now you can do that by just spending 4,000 coins. You don't have to get lucky anymore. Which is also another great change. Like, they, there's so many great changes. Like, like I said, this game is going to blow up now. And it's so good to see them actually like, commit to it. Because it, it's hard to, like, sacrifice the short-term gains for the long-term potential success. But, in case you were wondering, so, the amount of gems you would need to buy every single hero, uh, if you don't have any of them, is 3,620 T-gems. And then, the amount of the, uh, little vouchers is 1,050. And since you get 660 of these things for the Hall of Fame, free to play, not even the battle pass which is completely separate which you can get a lot of these free to play like i'm telling you you can actually play this game free to play now how much it costs is going to be basically 200 bucks will get you everything in the game uh which you don't have to do that though like so but if you do want to give yourself a heads up or like a head start you can do that or you can go through and you can just get like one thing for like 15 bucks for the really nice uh, Judex type heroes. And then for like Osus and everything else, it's like $9 each. Uh, something similar to Farlight, uh, I believe. And also, this one is so much easier than Farlight to actually get these things free to play, which again, that's crazy. Also, remember, go ahead and quickly use that redeem code at the top in the game and you will get one mega box. So you can get a head start on all those heroes. And I think that our game's going to blow up. I, I honestly do believe that. Um, I, another thing that I believe, I have like the cutest dogs that ever lives. That is my little baby Ruby and my big baby Opal. These guys are amazing. We will be streaming again soon, guys. Uh, don't worry. We did need to take a break, but now Ruby's getting a little bit older. We will start doing that again. I will announce it on my community tab. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you to Gorgo for letting me do this and having the giveaway. Also, guys, I will be making a part two to this in probably two days. I'm going to get everything edited together and make it look all nice and give you guys all the information you want. Make sure to go check out Myron's videos for all the latest sneak peeks, including another new character that's coming next season already out on his channel. So go ahead and watch that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all have a great day.